Hello and welcome my dear PrEP3 students, Mr. Henny with you from Better Tigers Private School. Today we are going to start with Unit 13, Lesson 1 and Lesson 2. Unit 13's title is At the Observatory. At the Observatory. First, we are going to start with Lesson 1 and Lesson 1 as usual will be a reading text. Read the website article and check your answers to Exercise 1. Astronomy, your questions answered. We asked you to send us your questions about you, the solar system for our team of astronomers here at the observatory. Here are the answers. Question number one. How many planets are there in our solar system? Eunice asked how many planets, planets there were in our solar system. There are eight. They are all different sizes. The biggest planet is 1,000 times bigger than Earth. Three of the planets are smaller than Earth. Do all the planets have moons? Aya asked if all the planets had moons. Only two planets in the solar system don't have any moons. But one planet has 62 moons and one has 67. The Earth's moon is round, but many of the other moons are different shapes and sizes. What is a shooting star? Judy asked what a shooting star was. Shooting stars are not stars. A shooting star is a small piece of rock that is traveling through space. As it moves, it gets hotter. It usually burns and disappears before it falls onto the earth. Is it hot or cold on the moon? Ziad asked if it was hot or cold on the moon. When the sun shines on the moon, it's very hot. It's around 123 degrees. The side of the moon that isn't in the sun is freezing at around minus 153 degrees. That was the reading text of lesson 1. Now let's answer these questions. Are these sentences true or false? Number 1. All the planets in the solar system are the same size? Of course not. This is a false sentence. Number 2. Two planets in the solar system have more than 50 moons? No. False. Number 3. A shooting star is a piece of rock. True. Number four. Shooting stars often fall onto the earth. False. Number five. The side of the moon that is not in the sun is 153 Celsius. And this is false also. Now. Let's skip to the grammar. And our grammar today is talking about reported questions. Reported questions follow the same rules as reported statement when we talked about it before in the previous session. The tense changes to one step back into the past. The pronoun change according to the meaning and we put the subject before the verb. For example, if a direct sentence is what is your name? Ask it Salma. That's a question using a WH question, what? When I want to convert it into reported speech, what should I say? I'll say Salma asked me what my name was. What about yes or no questions? If there is a yes or no questions, I use if after the verb. For example, are you an astronomer? The students asked the professor. The answer will be The students asked the professor if she was an astronomer. We can also use question words after the verb ask and the object. Why are telescopes expensive? Asked Lena. Lena asked why telescopes were expensive. What are you doing? 
I ask Drufaida. I ask Drufaida what she was doing. Reporting verbs include wonder, ask, want to know, etc. Okay. I have some sentences and I want you to make it into the reported. Do you like reading, Taha? Asked the teacher. The answer will be the teacher asked Taha if he liked reading. Number two. Hania asked, when is the next bus leaving? What will be the answer? The answer will be Hania asked when the next bus was leaving. Hania asked when the next bus was leaving. Number three. Will you finish your homework before dinner? Karim asked his sister. The answer. Karim asked his sister if she would finish her homework before dinner. Number four. How long does it take you to get to school? Warda asked me. The answer, Warda asked me how long it took me to get to school. That's all for today and thank you.